Flash. Great. It's my. It's weird that this is. It's my size. No way. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where we are back one final time for me just scouring FNAF. And uh, it is just me here on the couch right now. No Matt, no Steph. Uh, <laughs> they both got sick of it. No, that's, that's not actually true. Uh, Matt's doing other work. Steph's doing other work. And I should be doing other work. But you know what? Forget that. There is lore to be had in Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, so we finished, during the last playthrough, all the endings. Uh, or at least all the known endings, all six endings that has have been currently discovered. Uh, and now comes the time for me to just kind of poke around, uh, see what we can find, what hasn't been discovered. Uh, we haven't done a full, like, collectible run of everything because, you know, it's a big game. There's a lot of different things that are hidden everywhere. There's a lot of different places that things could be hidden. And so, ultimately, what I'm after today is just you know, seeing what secrets exist here. And, and forgive me if this one is jumping around a lot because I might not be doing a lot of talking to the camera so we might cut stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna be wandering around a fair bit uh, just because I'm, I'm gonna be looking high and low for clues and boxes and, and interesting emails or things that we haven't done. Might have to hop in and do some things that we've done already. Uh, but at the end of the day, my goal is to find interesting things in the game that haven't been discovered or that we haven't discovered yet. Um, like I said, like I keep harping on about, there's something weird with arcade cabinets. I don't know if Steel Wool has come out and said like, oh, that's a broken mechanic or people haven't found it or if, if they've kind of revealed what's going on with that. I haven't looked into that. I haven't reached out to them. Maybe I will if I haven't seen anything to see if I'm barking up the wrong tree. Um, it feels odd to me that, and just as we get started here, it feels odd to me that there is one puzzle, the uh, glowing eyes puzzle feels odd to me that there's one puzzle that uses the camera to solve, but there isn't a puzzle that uses the Faz Blaster to solve. It feels like both of those tools are in the game for a reason. The Faz Blaster, the, the camera is for photographing the various pirate animatronics, makes their eyes glow, and then we're allowed in the back of the arcade cabinet, right? To me, the Faz Blaster feels like it's used for inputting a code. And what that code is, I don't know. Is it tied to the arcade cabinets? I don't know. We still have those those weird floating numbers uh, in, on the Mylar balloons in the Monte Golf. I those those have got to pay off somewhere. Those have got 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 to pay off somewhere. Um, so I don't know. So anyway, long story short, my goal today is to just like poke around, peek at stuff, see if we can just collect a couple other things. Uh, so forgive me if. This one's a little bit slower, boring, or jumps around a lot more accurately because we'll just be cutting in when something moderately interesting happens or if I say something funny, which, you know, doesn't happen that often. So I wouldn't expect too much coming from me. Uh, but I, I just, before I give up on the game, before I, not give up, but before I kind of like turn my attention elsewhere, before we kind of wrap things for this whole thing, um, Frozen Freddy Treat. Before we, you know, just kind of, uh, before I start like really diving into other people's playthroughs, other people's secrets, things like that, uh, and, and seeing what everyone else has done, I want to make sure that kind of my first impression is is fairly wrapped uh, and, and pretty completely done. So that is the goal of today. Because um, at this point, you know, it's time to, it's, it's, it's past time to start working on theories. Uh, you know, and, and so I have ideas. Just and, uh, oops. Did she just like fall on something? What happened to her there? She like, did she break the glass? It's like she like ran into the glass and just like shattered it. That was weird. Oh, poor, poor Roxy. Rough. Rough go. She's, she's had a rough run in this, in this one. 
Okay, so we found this guy. I don't know what else is in the VIP section. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Uh, I wonder if we can bring Freddy. We should be able to bring Freddy up here, shouldn't we? So escape the pizza plex. We've done that. We've stopped. Use the party pass to access. So we should play Phaser Blast. Because that's kind of the last mission. The last mission mission. Um... We've played Phaser Blast, obviously, a couple times at this point. We've gotten the Phaz Blaster. Uh, my last playthrough, I did not get it just because I wanted to get to the ending uh, with Afton. So, and because we didn't need it to get the Bonnie Bowl Pass, I'm like, well, let's just streamline this and go straight to to that secret elevator. But now that we're kind of in endgame, and I suspect that we'll need it to unlock one of these secrets somewhere, uh, it probably behooves us now to actually grab that. So let's let's find where that is. There's Roxy. Roxy Wolf. Roxy. What's the name? Roxy. Okay, that takes us backwards. So again, just trying to be thorough through all this. Make sure we've got as much as I can see from an initial walkthrough. I think we've gotten mostly everything through there. I will say, with so much stuff all around, it is interesting that it's 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 tricky to actually find things in the world because there's so many like bright, colorful things that the like little presents can be pretty tough to find. So you gotta really be on the lookout, and, and they're not just like hidden on the ground, they're high, they're low, they really kind of come out all over. So just want to make sure I'm thorough over there. Pretty good. Anything with these t-shirts? Uh, I literally just uh, killed Monty Gate. Oh! Hey! Hi! <laughs> okay. Oh, this poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Just, just the worst. Oh, and he's just hanging out, defending. What, a, what a champ. He can't, he can't do all that much, but he's, he's doing his best. Glitchy maze. Hmm. That seems like a. Again, a lot of these arcade cabinets feel suspicious, feel important in some way, and there's just so many of them. And all of them are a reference or a deep cut or, you know, have some sort of importance in some way or another, you know, from a historical perspective. Wait, what was, was it a, was that a hide? Oh, it was a hide, okay. I'm like, I noticed that the, the prompt popped up, but nothing there. Double zero. And then you have moments like this where it's like, oh, this is a... Like, the purple glitch screen feels like it would have some importance, but it, at the same time, like, it appears to, at least in practice, be just like, oh, just kind of a, a random a marker screen. Or, like, a, a random just texture screen for all the various things. Um, maybe there's a secret code hidden in the high scores themselves. Again, not sure, not clear. Oh, great. It's also worth noting that at this point, I haven't been able to summon Freddy. Where's Freddy? Is he just not allowed back in like the old chips area? What's going on? What's going on, bud? Okay, now he can come. Okay, cool. I was worried that I'm like, oh no, now I can't get to Freddy anymore. That would be bad news. Hey, hey, Fred. Can I, can I get in you? Can I not get in him? Weird. That's suspicious. Hmm. Hopefully things aren't amiss. Hopefully I can climb into your stomach, large bear. I would like to climb into your stomach and hide and look for clues using your magic eyeballs. Hello? Nope, apparently not. Great, that doesn't bode super well. I feel like that's gonna have 
negative impact on my gameplay experience. Hmm. Maybe if I do a different mission, it'll like reset it maybe? Or maybe if I go to like one of the arcade cabinets, it'll reset it. Who do I need? We can do Fazer Blast. Let's hop into Fazer Blast. Maybe by getting the Faz Blaster, which seems to just make everything work real smoothly, uh, we'll be able to kind of reset Freddy and then I'll be able to climb into his little cake pop. Also again, because we were jumping around a bunch, I think we died during, like we had collected stuff in here and then we died. So let me just make sure that now that we can save things, let's make sure that we have all of that. There was the one up here. Space Freddy keychain. I wish there was something that like showed you how many things you had and how many things you were missing, like either in different chunks of the game or at different moments of the game, like or or just like a, a countdown or a list of some form with like a bunch of silhouettes. Like, oh, you filled out whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So, oops. The, <laughs> this is apparently going to be the best Easter egg ever, because it was impossible to collect. The Freddy Piñata. I was right. Best, best Easter egg ever. How did I know? Totally called it. We all knew it was going to be super important. And there it was. Uh, let's see. I believe. So, and another weird detail. Level 10. Level 10. We are level 7 at this point in the game. So, you know, either you can't actually access it in the game, which I'm assuming is the case. Like, this is probably gated out. Come on, Freddy. And, he, and he's... Hmm. Okay, well, I can't open up that door without your help here, bud, so you can just, you know. There we go. Had to do the old, <laughs> the old shuck and jive around him. Uh, this is just to the Roxy Raceway. Okay. Into some of that backstage stuff. So, into Fazer Blast. We'll play this one real quick. I'll see you on the other side of this one. You don't need to watch this for, like, the 300th time. Who is Stewie? This one is for Stewie. Who is Stewie? Like, is Stewie one of the other bots that we just killed? That's that's the lore I want. Who is Stewie? That's that's the game theory everyone's after right now. Who is this Stewie? You have defeated the alien army. Good job, Space Cadet. Thank you. Proceed to the winner's elevator for your reward. Old poster. Great. So I've gotten that one. I've gotten that one a couple times. Now it is all about getting back to the winner's elevator, the thing that has beset us with all sorts of confusion in the past. Requires an item. We did that. Well Great. done, Superstar. You won the Fazer Blaster. Now go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. Superstar Lounge. We got that. Where does this vent go? So we're gonna just queue up all this stuff. Cause now again, because we're sa now that we've saved it, we can actually do this a couple times in different routes and see the cutscene that we missed, presumably. So this is the security guard stuff that we were talking about before. It's the security email. So we are familiar with that one. I won't jump the fence this time, so you don't have to worry about that. Learned my lesson. Freddy, that rabbit lady's in a secret room above Fazer Blast. It looks like a hideout. I think her name is Fanny. Fanny. It is very similar to Vanessa and also Bunny. <laughs> well, that's that cannot be a line. coincidence. Great line. Okay, so on the other end is that fence that we kept jumping over and ruining everything, so we're not going to go that way. So huzzah, our prize is winning this. So now we have our Fazer Blaster, so we can save it. And that is the other tool that I, I swear is going to yield something 
in terms of inputting a code, because it feels very much like a code inputting device to me. Slot. Perfect. Yeah, to me, that is the thing that's allowing us to dial numbers into something, right? We, we shoot at individual events or objects. Oh, come on. What are you doing? I'm escaping from Sheikah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Freds. Sorry, Freds. Uh, you know, just uh, running away scared. Terrified, actually. Just so frightened. Buddies are... That is not a normal pre... <laughs> Do not be confused that present versus the wind-up crank presence. Very, very different. Very, very different. How dare you touch that present? That one is not for you. Nothing exciting up there. That leads to Rockstar Row, which I want to go back to, because we have to finish looking at the weirdo uh, wormhole area that we got caught up in. This was backstage, but th that only leads to a level 10 security door, because we that's how we first arrive on the stage. Let's quickly go through Pirate's Cove. Because also at this point, we because we lost our progress earlier, we have to go back through and recollect all of the individual... Um, maybe up there, not really. Oh, there's something back here though, hello. Oh, for that Monty frozen treat. Yes. Best ever. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. Glam Monty figure. Hey, oh, complete the collection. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Stupid figures. So there's a door up there. I'm suspicious of that door. Before you deviate too far away. Man. Weird. Here. Can we climb up that slide? To get up that door. So I'm wondering if this is a door I can face through it. Oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Golden sun. Yeep! Leap! Because you can, as established in the daycare, you can hop up slide, like you can climb up slides. And there does seem to be a door up there. Which makes you think like, oh, I should be able to get up there, right? Hmm. I am suspicious of what is up there. This was uh, what I assumed to be, come on, what I assumed to be Crying Child's room. His little nest, his little den with moon plush. There, anything else? Okay, let's get her eyes. Yar! Did it sound like Foxy was reacting in that moment? It sounded like there was more than just. It, it might have been Monty. Like may, maybe Monty's through like some wall or something right now. I feel like if I have to work this hard for it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be up there. I just try one more, two, one or two more times. Nope. Oh, and I can, huh, these actually flop around. That's interesting. Doesn't look like there's anything up there, does it? No, I can't, I can't jump there. Okay, good to know, it was, it was a noble effort. I say to myself, having wasted all of our time. It's so weird that that connects to a door. That, that reads as interesting, like that reads as suspicious to me. I will say. So it, everything seems to go to this band area. And so maybe it's just like off limits to be off limits, you know? Just curious. Hey Fred, can, can I climb into you yet? Yeah, I can! Yay! Here, let's see. You see any secret things? There's some secret things off in the distance there. One that looks opened, one that does not look opened. So let's head on there. Something's open there. OK, 
Okay, this is cheap as let's eat. Oh yeah, this one had a... Okay. Don't, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me, Fred. Okay, so here... I have not gotten this one, okay. This uh, won't be anything interesting because it's not one of the fancy boxes. Hoodie up. Excuse me. Excuse me, what? The hoodie up! Who. Who wears a hoodie? No one wears a hoodie. Gregory doesn't wear a hoodie. What is a hoodie up? And also, does it go into clothes? Something tells me it's not going, it doesn't go into clothes. Like, what, what do these items do? What do they mean? Roxy up, Freddy up. Are they boosting his battery power? Are they boosting, are they boosting his skills? I don't get it. Hoodie, hoodie up. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't know. I don't know, game. I don't know what you want with me, game. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's hop back in. Hoodie up, guys! You don't stand a chance. I just upgraded my hoodie. Get dunked on! I am unbeatable in this game now. This is, this is suspicious. Can I, can I get out? Okay. Chica's feeding frenzy. This is an odd place for this one to go. Gotta admit. Shoot you? No. Flash you? I am your friend! I am your friend! Okay, so this, maybe, now that we can save everything. Maybe that one's tied to the other arcade cabinets. Because that's suspicious. Like, you gotta admit. Even if you're a doubter of how I overthink things, you gotta admit, even if you're just watching this game casually, the fact that there's a random one-off minigame, Chica's Feeding Frenzy, in the middle of this, like, very random area, that to me says, hey, there's a secret here. There's something not normal. Something's afoot. Okay, onward to Freddy's. Oh, sorry, Monty's. Onward to Monty's Golf. Nothing. Okay, nothing on the sides there. Just want to double check. I can climb into Freddy. So, I feel like in here there's so much stuff going around that... And there's, there's so much to look at in here that I definitely missed either some bags or some collectibles or something. Or I'm back into this. We're heading off to uh, the opening area of the game, so that way I can go back to the wormhole area that we were almost done exploring, because we had almost completed that whole opening section. Um, and so I'm curious to see where, where we are with that. Uh, let's see. And I fell through the wormhole way back when, and it felt like that was an important chunk. Hoodie up, Freddy, hoodie up. 515, of course. A couple different things. Ooh, there's a, huh. There's a box in Monty's area? Ooh, hello. We've never actually been in Monty's room. Ooh, hello, Montgomery Gator. And there's Monty's mini golf. Golden... Golden Freddy, huh? Really? I didn't ex Okay. Really? Golden Freddy? What does he fall under? Miscellaneous, of course. Golden Freddy? Golden Rockstar? I mean, it looks like Golden Rockstar Freddy. Golden Chica. 
Golden Roxy, Golden Monty, Golden Sun. So it seems like we're only missing Golden Moon. Golden Freddy, huh? That's interesting. And this Monty Mini Golf is not playable. So this one is broken. Oh, hello. Hello, more lore. Monty Mischief. Errant behavior. Monty didn't show up for the main stage performance again. We found him in the same place we always do. The cat walks over Monty Golf. This is where you have his boss battle. We can't have a repeat of last month. Someone hit the hole in one and the hurricane bucket knocked him down. Both legs were broken and required emergency parts and service work. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So we've never been in Monty's room, so I'm just curious what's going on in here. It is so dark. You have a ripped up, ripped up security bot. You have some Monty suckers. His whole thing is destroyed. Can we go back here? We can. And what do we got back here? We've got ourselves the old classic charging station. So the elevator, the, okay, opens. So am I fixing this elevator now? Did I fix this elevator or am I, or no? Cause I'd love for this elevator. I don't know why, it just feels like just having Roxy's available to me is a bit of a bummer. And I like the idea of opening up all of the elevators cause that makes me feel good about myself. So this should take us to parts and service. A long way down, apparently. All right, and this is Demonte's. Yep, okay, so we just doubled back here. So that's fine. I, I like the idea of us just having this available now. Can I go back up? I can, yes. Okay, so we just had to access it from the backside. So that's cool. <laughs> Unlocking the elevators. Secrets unlocked, clearly. Most important secret of the game, how to create the Monty Gator shortcut. It is literally five steps away from the Roxy Wolf shortcut, but you know what? It's gonna save you a whole lot of time. But you know what? This is the one that everyone's after. Five Easter eggs from Freddy Fazbear's. Anything else? Let's see. So, as we look through here, see a couple boxes there, but those seem to be done. That one looks to be done. That one is definitely done. We just did it. All those back there look to be done. Okay. Okay, so let's go down to the basement. He's mad at me and trying to summon someone, but that's fine. Don't really care because everyone's decommissioned. Sorry, bud. Help is not coming. In Fazbear's, no one can hear you scream. Okay, so this is a Chica, Chica land area. Squawk. Okay, squawk. Yeah! Hello. Hello, plush babies. Hello, babies. To our plushes. Is this where? Is this from FNAF VR? Comedy mask. Comedy tomorrow, tragedy tonight. It's an inverse of what it actually is in the show. Okay. This reminds me a lot of the the mini game in FNAF VR, where you have to stop the stuffed babies from attacking you. Okay, so now, this is where he says you're broken, I will put you back together. That's kind of important. Feel like that's a good lore, lore moment right there. You don't use you are broken lightly in this game. So, you know, okay, that's the dread bear stuff. That's good to know. What else do we have back here? We have this, the sacrificial altar for the fallen security bots. Not suspicious at all, not sketchy in the slightest. We're to totally normal behavior for robots to be doing with each other, mourning the loss of one of their fallen. That's that's cool. We're totally fine with that. We support that. We stand. Okay, new slot. Always a new slot. So here we are. All right. So this is. Event. <gasps> okay, okay, yes. Ooh, and there's a shoot. This is from, this is actually from FNAF. This is actually from FNAF VR. 
So this is the, oh, and I do have to like hop around on here, don't I? Right, to get this box. So on one hand, I did have to hop up here this entire time. So this is absolutely from FNAF VR. This is Mangle's minigame, if I remember right. You have parts coming in from both sides, and you had to put Mangle together, and then he would like it would like ship him down. Huh. So FNAF VR is an actual thing. It's an actual place. That's unusual. Huh, what does that mean? And that's this, so Dreadbear was also an actual place down here. So all of this seems tied to FNAF VR for some reason. What does that tell us though? I'm not entirely clear on that. Hmm. Let's keep going. So this is the opening chase sequence of the game, which I'm assuming, if you recall correctly, Monty busts through his gate around here somewhere. Or no, that we already went past that, didn't we? No, this is stealthing. This is stealthing, yeah. This is teaching you stealth. And then you go through all these chunks. And then eventually you get to Monty bursting through the gate, which is somewhere around here-ish. There we go. Here. And it was through here. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. So here's Monty's Monty's room. Cool. Pop on in. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's burst through these gates. Oh, and yeah, you can see that there's a present through here. Oh, shit, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's a secret. Was that door? Secret door? Ooh, hello, there's, ooh, hello, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, secret door. Huh, okay. Here, let's, let's go back so I don't skip stuff, just cause I don't wanna rush through this. So, Go back here, we'll stop right here before Freddy runs out of batteries. And let's see what we got. So here, we've got animatronic that's like hanging by his feet. So it's just like being repaired, being fixed. It looks like a torture chamber. That's creepy, so I'll get out, but sure, okay. And then down here, wasn't there a present? We're supposed to be a present. Oh no, that was the other way. And then down here, we've got a secret door, which is very clear, like right there, obviously, very secret. What you got? Torn paper. It's there, but you can't see. Alone in the dark, I found the key. Okay, alone in the dark. So in the dark. Uh, so that would be here with flashlight off. Nope, not fast blaster. Alone in the dark. Can I put everything away? I cannot. Flashlight is not gonna work. Uh, flash, flash! Great! It's my, it's weird that this is, it's my side. It's, oh my gosh, it's the sister, is it a, it's a sister location room? Oh my gosh, there's exotic butters! And the, I mean, and the lamp, I mean, it, and the popcorn, and the chair, oh, it's, and he's watching Freddy, that's so crazy! That is crazy! So, 12.15 is the time. I, I just think that's interesting. I don't know if that matters at all. 12.15. Weird. So is this meant to be 
a replica of it or is this just it? Cause this, I mean, this is identical, right? Like this is exactly it ripped straight from the game. This is the lamps there, the TV's there, the exotic butters is there. So has this always been here? And, uh, okay, obviously a code. I would assume a cipher of some form. Uh, first one's I. I would say I because it's either A or I because the first one it has one letter. Um, I. Uh, it does look like the words are slightly broken up. Yeah, you can tell that there are little spaces between the words. Maybe. Okay, so this is just something I'll have to do. I'm sure I'm sure the internet has already solved this at this point. Weird. So what does this mean? What? Does this mean that this is Michael lived here? This is just a reference to Michael? I'm I'm sure the code helps. Requires an item. Okay, so we gotta find these tapes. So we got, uh, so we're on another tape finding quest, huh? That's crazy. Are, how have we not seen any of these tapes yet? I feel like we're actually being really thorough in finding stuff in this game. Hey, are you a tape? I'm looking for some tapes. What? I I don't know, man. This is kind of weird. This is a wacky one. This is a real interesting one. So, that means that Michael Afton lived in the Pizzaplex? That means that they've recreated this room here? That he's all, like, this was built as a part of his house? I mean, I'm not particularly lost. Roxanne Wolf. That's crazy. That's huge. That's huge. It is also real random. Um, did he live here this whole time? Like, is this his home? Is this your home, Michael Afton? That's just a Michael Afton reference. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I am so intrigued by that. Wild. Absolutely wild. So now we gotta find tapes, friends. Uh, where do we find those tapes? Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, is there one? Is there two? Three? Sixteen? In true, uh, in true tape girl fashion? In true Vanny fashion? Oh, all right, back to the front. So we gotta find tapes and a thing to put on the ATM at the very beginning of the game. So, uh, so again, it's one of those things where I've obviously, uh, you know, broke the Vanny endings by like jumping over a fence that I shouldn't have jumped over. But how was I meant to get down there in the first place? At no point has that ever really been addressed, which means that it, it, it means that I'm like missing a chunk of something in here. Like it feels like a section I haven't been able to access. Here we go, charge up. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Cause all the Vanny endings kind of require you to go down in order to go up, right? You go down into the basement and then you come up through Faz Fazer Blast. But I've never been down there and never really found a, a way or kind of like a reason to go down anywhere. Up to this point, the rest of the game has been like pretty clear about like, hey, go here and you might not know exactly how to go. But it's been pretty articulate about that sort of thing. Now I'm wondering if, because we kind of like freaked the game out, if that's potentially thrown it off in some way. I hope not. 
Matt and everyone online has said that, oh, it doesn't affect things, so I'm assuming not, but... Wait. Wait, what? This literally just popped in. This wasn't here before. This, this was not here. And it just popped in when... That's crazy. Wait, so can I... No way! That's it. No way! So you, so they're invisible until you see them with Freddy. Looking at them with Freddy causes it to appear, at which point then you can pick it, get out of Freddy and pick it up. No way! Okay, all right. I see you, game. Okay. Sure, sure, let's do it. Let's find them, I guess. Let's super cut our way around all these things, because that is, I don't think you can even see them through the walls. Yikes, all right, we'll try, we'll try, we'll see what we got. How far do I have to be, or how close can I be to see these things? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding, wait, there's an, how, how would I have found that? And they're just, ra they're just randomly. Oh. Huh. Huh. I would assume. Something's up there, maybe? Maybe this is how you unlock higher security levels? By finding these things? I'm assuming there's probably like one in each installment, in each lo in each like major location. The rehearsal room seemed to have a lot. And if I were to hide something, I would definitely have one here. Are you? This is. That was a good. That was a good guess. That was a good guess. So that's three. Picture him. I cannot see. Sorry, Freddy. Because we also want to do all those games again. We should also play Princess Quest again. Now that we have the glitch, we can do all this stuff and just front load everything. Huh. So strange. So strange. What a weird thing. So they just they just randomly pop up. Wild. That's crazy. Huh. So, th I mean, so this is the big collectible of the game, right? Like, this has got to be the thing that really sells everything. Because, I, I mean, you got to be really thorough here, too. Because it's not like it's just popping in. Um, like you can't see, you have to be pretty close to it for it to pop in. There's his trophy case. I expected something with his trophy case. That's not surprising. I would think there might be something on... A couple other areas. I think that's what it is. So you know what kept glitching us out in the early game? And I'm like, I had to restart the game. My game was completely broken. Nothing worked. It was because we had collected one of these. There was one in the center. There was one in the center of the world. Like right, there was one right down there. That's right. There was one right down there in the center. And as a result, but I, I just randomly collected it, right? I don't think I was in Freddy's skin or anything. I think I was literally just Why are you holding them? 
hadn't worked. So I think that actually explains why my game glitched out. I think that's what I got this like weird end of game secret item randomly much earlier than I was supposed to and it was and it was it was literally killing my game. It was something that was supposed to have been gotten like much 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 later as like a secret item, but instead it was just showing up in my main game without me being in Freddy's. So it was just like some weird item that I had gotten. That's got to be what was causing me all those problems from the beginning? That makes so much sense! Kind of. You know? Now I just gotta find out what they do. Great. Here's one. Weird. I, there's almost like no rhyme or reason. It's, it's just in like areas that look interesting but didn't have anything important attached to them before. So like, I would assume that there's one here. There must be one in the the Chica Bakery area, or like the... Because that's another area that like seemed really big and robust and then it didn't really ultimately amount in anything. There is, I mean, there is the Chica minigame though. Roxy Magnet, great. How back here? Go back here, here. Just loops me around. Wait, where it is? There you go. Shoes up. Got my shoes up, got my hoodie up. Shoes up, hoodie up. Got them all. That's my lore. That's the one about Princess Quest. It'd be parts one and two. Why don't you turn it on? So, hey, let's do this too. Let's start beating these. Can I beat them without getting a heart? I'm curious. Can I beat them without getting a heart? All right, Princess Quest 1 beaten without getting any of the mysterious hearts. I wonder if that's gonna carry over into Princess Quest 2. So in Princess Quest 1, we got nothing, but as we know, Princess Quest 2 ends with that final, the starting screen of Princess Quest 1. So I'm wondering, and, and it's last time we played through everything and got the Princess Quest ending, that chest was open. So I'm wondering if by playing through it now, I think what the high score is, nothing really. Monty Gator, Freddy Fazbear, Monty Gator, Crying Child? Chica Chicken. Roxanne Wolf, FS, I don't know who FS would be. But okay, so now we've done that. We've got our improved shoes. We've got a couple more things here, which is exciting. We've got uh, one of our one of our little special CDs. We're collecting stuff left and right. It's great. Anything over here? Nothing. 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 You would think that there'd be something over here or something with a ball. I'm surprised there's nothing with the ball pits in this game. After Fazbear Frights has made such a big deal about the ball pits, I don't understand how a time travel ball pit reference in any capacity, joking or non, isn't happening here. I am very surprised by that, I gotta admit. If I were a hidden CD, I would definitely hide here. Cause look at these trophies, they look suspicious. There's not, okay, I didn't know. I love that Roxy's like, I love your soft steps, human. I do not hear the giant animatronic steps that Freddy's taking though, and the thumping in your direction that he's, he's going. There we go, there's a CD. There's one. So we're one in each big section, but because Roxy has two kind of big chunks, I guess she gets two. Interesting. Oh man. Gregory with these new shoes just got the best ups. Look at him go, ooh, like a rocket. Wait for you to go, oh, I just collected something here. Nope, there we go. Freddy upgrade! What's that do? Does that give you more battery life? Because that'd be great. If you had more battery life, that would make, that would be swell. That would be quite swell. I would take that in a heartbeat. I feel like this whole time I've been waiting for like battery upgrades for Freddy and for that to finally be it. That would be amazing. 
that have gotten a lot of we've got, at this point we've gotten a lot of these CDs. Kind of makes me wonder how many there are. I'm assuming, like I said, I'm assuming there's 16, uh, because true to you know past games, uh, there 16 seems to be the magic number of CDs historically. So I would I wouldn't be surprised if there were 16. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Music man! That's right, my boy. Living his best life. Music man! i just take a picture of you. It's because you rock! Let's see. To me, there's got to be something in the karaoke rooms because those always seemed suspicious. It was weird that there was nothing in them. Do we never pick up the security badge? Security breached. Get the highest security access possible at number eight. Huh, get the highest security access possible. Interesting, so I'm number eight now, and that's apparently as high as you go. Wow, I, and the game never really like said I had to get this one. That's interesting. Huh. Location Pizza Plex, package 3647. Do I have a pen? This is just unusual. 3647281. Eight, it's drawn to sound. Import pending. Import pending, 6 a.m. Number, question mark, question mark, question mark. Location, Pizzaplex. Huh. That's weird. That seems suspiciously important to me, but I don't know. That's weird. Oh, there's no charging station in here. Boop! Boop! Here, let's go get Prince's Quest. Oh, these shoes are great. The upgraded running shoes. I don't know what hoodie does, if it like helps my stealth or what, but I will say the ability to run faster is very beneficial. All right, Prince's Quest 2. You are alive, that is good. Take the Sword of Light and go. another one of those hearts which again I don't want to get the hearts I don't think I think it's okay for me to kill these guys I think that's important because I have to at a certain point don't I I think I do I think I'm supposed to right isn't that one of the secrets okay I'll, I'll, ta I'll take their hearts but I won't get more hearts like I don't think I want to upgrade my light bar that's the, the point. See, there's... Yeah, don't, don't get extraneous hearts. We don't want her to feel strange. Because once she starts feeling strange, that's when she starts getting possessed by Glitch Trap, right? For this one, you have to actually defeat everyone. Oh no, it's no, no, it's lighting the torches. That's right. Hello, hello, hello. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Shoot, I have died. Oops. So real quick, Shadows, purple, like purple guy, purple Afton, Afton family, 
plus a father, and then here, Henry, three good guys. Fritz, Jeremy, Michael, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. This feels symbolic. I don't understand why it would be symbolic though. It's interesting. So it's assuming that you're getting the treasure chest in each one. So we did not. So the fact that uh, that treasure chest is now open seems to imply that it does not matter. So now we know. That seems to dismiss the idea of like by getting hearts, you are doing stuff. Cool. So that's Princess Quest 2. We're all done with that one. Can I activate Music Man again? I'm just curious. I have a cool running upgrade now. Shoot, I can't. I will run the Dickens out of here. It's weird that every time you go into the Princess Quest 1, it makes that arcade cabinet glow. That's suspicious, as is. Plush Trap Chaser glowing purple, but again, I think that's just like a texture that they've added on top of some of these screens. Ah, what a cool jump scare that was! That was awesome! That was really cool. That was really, really cool. That was a good one. There it is! There it is! There's another one! I knew that there would be one in these karaoke rooms, which were oddly underutilized. Again, I, I thought for sure that there'd be a little bit more in one of them, but I guess not. Not a whole lot. I mean, again, very cool, huge map, absolutely gigantic map. It's just, there wasn't anything... Like, I loved this section, I loved the whole Music Man bit, I think it was awesome. But like, I just wanted there to be... Look at these. Throw this off. Ends with stars. Ends with stars. Hey, Chica. Hey. I'll just pull out my blaster just in case. Just in case. That didn't work at all. Great. Cool. And we're done. And we're done with that. After that dramatic exit, we are done with that section. Thank you very much. How many CDs do we have at this point? Feels like we got a lot. Just saying. I guess. Retro- oh. There's a whole section. Hmm. There's a whole section in my inventory for retro CDs now. See? A whole... Whole section for retro... CD... That I can't get to, unfortunately. I guess- oh, here we go. Okay, so I know one, two, three, wow. Well, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. That's a lot. That's a lot. So we have, I'm guessing, seven more? Where else? So that was, oh, there's gonna be one in Bonnie Bowl, I would assume. Let's check out the Bonnie Bowl. I told you this was just gonna be me off in my world collecting these mystery CDs, I guess. Check this out. Cleaning up everything that has happened so far. Hey, Paper Plate Pals! How are you guys? Missed you, buddy. Ready. Ready. Alright, he's got very limited battery life left, so... In and out and on our way. Okay, there he is. Ten! 
10 retro CDs. Woo! This map is huge. This is taking forever. This is just massive. Here we go. So we're all charged up with Freddy. We've got his extra battery, his, his Freddy upgrade. So we got a bonus battery now. Feels like we have like so much stuff in this game. Uh, okay, so... Next up, Monty Golf! Nope, this is the wrong way, Matt. You went the wrong way. That was a stupid way to go. Exit to the atrium, that is where we're going. Hey, Fred. Gonna go Monty Golf and Pirate Cove. Gonna go to Monty Golf, then we're gonna go to Pirate Cove. But first, there might be one on the show stage. Why not? Looks like there could be. Cause it's important and underutilized. Seems like a Easter egg. It was. Great. I don't know why I was singing that to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle song, I think, right? That was, yeah, heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Who knows? Who knows where my insanity comes from? Four, down to four. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. Hello, Freddy. Hey, you guys. There we go. There's one. Are there any other? Anything back in that door that I was wondering about before? Doesn't seem like it. Look at all that battery power I have, though. I've got six bars of battery now. I'm a champ. Freddy is unstoppable. I wish there was an upgrade where it's just like, just walk around. Auto win. Auto win the game. Congratulations, you're in the end game now. Just all the animatronics have been decommissioned. Just walk around in your giant animatronic suit. You're good. You're good. Congratulations. Collect the lore now, please. All right, Monty's Golf, we meet again. Where is my boy Fred? Is there a charging station in here? Is there a charging station here? I do not know. Where am I? I am... Where am I? You are here. I can't find myself. I, I, got, no, I got no idea. Alright. Well, I'm gonna hop around in Freddy here for a second. Anything interesting? There's a box right there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, there's one. At the end of hole five, obviously. Of course, why not? Monty's Gulf is pretty big. I wouldn't be surprised if there was two in here. There's a box there. I, you know, honestly, without using the eyes of Roxy the whole game, I'm pretty happy with the amount of stuff we were able to find because in general it seems like even as I walk around with more time fewer animatronics and more of like Roxy's eyes magic the, there's a security pen pass interesting it feels like you know I'm not missing a whole lot of stuff or like the stuff that I would be missing we've already found I love the fact that the sister location room is hidden in like one of the most inconvenient locations on the whole map that requires me to literally run all the way back to the very beginning of the game. It just adds mm, that much more, just add that much more to it. Just like as one final like, ha ha, we got you, Matt. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so let's see, inventory, where are we at with these miscellaneous? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're missing two. I'm also missing Golden Moon Man, which I don't know where he's at. I feel like I've been pretty thorough. I don't know where Golden Moon Man is. Chica's, Chica's Bakery. Oh, <laughs> Freddy's like, I was here the whole time. 
Surprise! I was hiding behind the sign. Sure you were, Fred. I'm sure you were there the whole time. Just teleports around. Hi! Hey! Hey, bud. I was missing you. Let's eat. Let's not. Anything here? Anything here? Anything back here? Usually not in bathrooms, not in kitchens. That feels odd. Chica's mini game. That's gotta. It's gotta be something. It's so suspicious. It's so suspicious. You know there's something to it. They call out Monty's golf, they call out Chica's. Okay, get 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 out the way. Get out the way, security bot. Security bot, security bot, get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Anything here? That felt suspicious before. Anything here? Nope, 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 nope. Could have sworn. Get out the way. Get out the way. Oh. Oh jeez, that's actually a really hard one to find. Oh, gross. Oh, right on. Oh, gross. Oh, nasty. I hate the roaches. I hate the roaches. All right, there's that one. All right, now what? Where could you be? Where could you be? I'm losing my mind as you plainly see. I've been playing this game for too long. Where could you be? Where could you be? Please save me. This is getting tedious. I don't know where this 16th CD is. I guess I'd look online, but I'm doing fine, I just want to find it now. Where did you go? Where did you go? Maybe you're back in the tunnels, I do not know. Where did you go? Where did you go? Maybe you're back in the tunnels, I do not know. Also, at this point, maybe there, who knows, maybe there isn't 16 CDs. Maybe I'm just making this up. Maybe there's 15, which is the number I, that I got. And, oh great, it's turned dusty. And as a result, it's possible, it's very possible, that we've gotten them all. So I'm just going to head back to the room, start listening to things. And if it seems incomplete, maybe then... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, maybe if it seems incomplete, like, we'll start listening to the tapes. If it seems incomplete, then you know what? We can always look for it a bit more. But who knows? Maybe this is it. Yes! Okay! Yes, I will take it! Thank you! Thank you! That is now. Oh, is that the last one? Is that it? Is that 16? I think that's 16. I think we've gotten all 16. Let's see. So I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven security passes. I thought I had eight. They congratulated me on security level eight. Maybe you start at one. Great. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen CDs. We've got so many collectibles. Oh boy, we got it, friends. We are there. It is us. We are the champions. All right, let's listen to some secret tape, shall we? Let's do it. Let's go. Just stop for a second. Maybe flashing that would do something. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Hello, Vanessa. How are you feeling today? You look a little tired. Hmm. Well, it's been a while since we last spoke. How's your anxiety been? You did so well with your calming protocols when we first worked together. Are you still using those? Yes? Okay, good. Well, now I understand there's a new issue. It came on just recently. 
rather suddenly. Can you tell me about it? What issue? I've been doing my job. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. Yes, yes, of course you do. Your performance reviews are good. Huh. But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. Huh. We have transcripts, and I've read them. Ooh, but it's not clear what you're talking about in these conversations. I can't make sense of it. You must be getting something from these that I'm not getting, right? Who are you talking to in these? No one. Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's in the marketing department. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. He's nice, I guess. This is from FNAF Air. Yes, I see Lewis I think. here. But there's someone else. Huh. So Lewis, I believe this is from FNAF AR, right? This is uh, Vanessa. So presumably this is Vanessa talking to a therapist or like a HR person, I guess. Uh, last session, which would make me think it's therapist. Um, can I access the retro CDs? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, weird. So the only way to access the retro CDs is not by going down, but you have to go like in and over. And all of them are just question marks. Great. Okay. Huh. Okay. So to me, and and in I believe it was FNAF AR in the emails, she talks to Lewis from marketing, who kind of hits on her, and it's very uncomfortable. So interesting. Good morning. Isn't it a pretty day? Two. No. What's the matter? Four six seven two. Oh, right. Too bright. I'll pull the shades. Better. When the shade's pulled, it feels like we're in a cubbyhole or a cave. Yeah? Hmm. So you're not talking to me again today. Huh. This isn't all that productive, you know. Don't you think the sessions are more successful when you talk to me? You know, everyone associated with this company gets performance reviews, right? When my sessions don't get results, my reviews aren't very good. If you don't want to talk for your own sake, how about for mine? You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I could be put in the corner for a time out. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? Huh. 4672, so a different number. So that either means a different date or a different patient, maybe. Um, this one doesn't talk. That's interesting. So, and it seems like, is it the same therapist voice? Hi. Seven, Go one, ahead. Three. Sit down. I don't know you. What happened to... Oh, we'll get to know each other in no time. Huh, different therapist. I've read through all your files, so I feel like we've been talking for weeks. I feel like I know your dad, too. Bill, right? Your dad's name was Bill? Bill. Short for William. I'm sorry, what did you say? I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I know you do. Your supervisor notes that you follow instructions perfectly. Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? Huh. I'm talking about the custody battle between your mum and your dad. Huh. Your dad didn't play fair, did he? He used to make your mum look bad in court. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Huh. Do you want to talk about how that felt? I suppose I don't need you to tell me it felt bad to have a parent scare you into saying things that weren't true. He manipulated you. It wasn't your fault. It's really sad. But it's common for one parent to use their child to hurt the other parent. I know your mom after she lost the custody case. I was supposed to be a good girl. Who? What happened to her had nothing to do with Is that the voice of baby? Even though it was your testimony that did it, was that testimony true? No, I didn't think so. But your dad is to blame, not you. Huh. Interesting. So, okay, we're learning a little bit about the, the mother. So, Bill, William Afton, presumably. Vanessa, did they kill? So, it's unclear whether there's two individuals, and this goes back to the ending that we saw where like one was still up in the building, and the other one had died while you know getting pushed off the side of the building. Um, so are there two, or is it still like 
a split personality here, or like one side is Glitch Trap, or uh, Elizabeth, and one side is actually Afton inside of her. You're not going to talk to me? No? What's the problem? Hey. Oh, the flowers? Yes, these are particularly fragrant today, aren't they? So then I'll move them. Doesn't like senses, sensory yeah. overload. No, let's see. What are you looking at? You're amazingly alert, aren't huh. you? All right, well, I'd like to have you tell me about yourself. But I can see that you're not going to do that. Or are you? All right, then. If you aren't going to talk to me, I'll just go by these notes. Okay. You just sit there and be comfy. Or not. That chair doesn't really fit you, does it? Well, this won't take long. Why would... The... Let's see. Doesn't... Your previous counselor is no longer available. Huh. Does that bother you? No. She killed the other one. You don't look surprised to see me sitting here instead of your last therapist. Well, then, let's get to it. I'll admit that some of what's in your file is a little surprising. Overall, you don't come across as a troublemaker. But if you read between the lines, it's clear that you have a little rebellious side, right? She just doesn't talk. And I'm surprised by your knowledge of computers. You're something of a phenom. Do you know what that word means? It means you have unusual skill. Huh. Like a hacker. I assume you know what a hacker is. Yes? What a weird thing to ask. Do you think of yourself as a hacker? Huh. So it does seem like there's two different patient profiles, which would be odd for the same therapist to, like, identify them as two separate things, which lends credence to the whole, like, there's two vannies. Good morning, Vanessa. Let's jump right in, Same therapist, we? and this is Vanessa. I got a message last night about you, and I have to be honest, it was upsetting. Apparently, the IT department has put together a pretty lengthy report chronicling non-job-related communications that have been coming to your computer. Huh. The fact that you're still doing something obviously not work-related on the job is disturbing Stop. enough. But what bothers me about what I read is that the messages you're getting seem very manipulative in nature. Do you know who I'm talking about? I get a lot of messages from friends. She's gonna I end like up dead when Lewis this. writes to me. He's funny. I'm not talking about Lewis. <laughs> Poor Lewis. You know who I'm talking about. Not really, though. He's kind of a jerk. Why won't you open up about it? What you might not know is that this person who's been sending you messages has been hacking into your personal files, too. Huh. These are the same files I have here. These files are full of details about your life. Do you know what that means? I'm not in the tech department. I just type on the computers. I know that. But what matters here is that this person who is contacting you knows a lot about you. Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. Huh. This person is using the personal files against you. Again, it seems to imply that there is someone else. So, like, is this is this baby trying to take over for Vanessa? I don't, this is this is unusual. This is this is interesting. I'm I'm really curious where this is going. I'm glad we found all Good of them. Good morning. It's good to meet you. I've read your files, so I'm up to speed on what you and your previous therapist have worked on. New therapist. Every time they find out about the sure, messages, they you die. Can have a candy. I'll have one too. You look chill sitting there like that. Not a care in the world, huh? All right. Well, I'd like to start by talking about your parents. What happened to them? And you. It was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. What happened to them? When I read your account of what happened, it came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Huh. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? 
Why does what I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you were talking about your own past. So emotional distance. That makes me think you've cut yourself off from it. Is that right? Not sure? Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self-dialogue. You know what I mean? Good at self -dialogue. Asking yourself questions and getting answers. So maybe you should ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Huh. So it... At first, I'm like, oh, this is Vanny and Vanessa, and it's the two personalities and whatever, but it, that doesn't seem to be the case. Why? So the one character is emotionally distant, almost like disaffected by everything. And then Vanessa, anytime some the therapist finds out about the secret messages or whatever, winds up dead, right? As soon as they start questioning about, like, hey, you're getting these weird encrypted emails and they're manipulating you and they're dangerous and this and that like they wind up dead the next the next session who would why would everyone be like oh you don't know what that means you don't know what that means objective versus subjective is it because they're young again this uh, this one i wonder is this gregory like is the second one like therapy sessions for gregory hi vanessa would you like a candy butterscotch today no, thank you. Those have 35 calories a piece. Hmm. Got well, they taste good to me. Not worth the calories. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? Huh. Okay. No? Some okay. more shock? Then I'm going to show you some ink blots, like this one. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. Okay. What do you see here? A treehouse. Hmm, it does look sort of like a treehouse, doesn't it? Do you like treehouses? I like to sit outside and read. Nice. Hashtag That's good. No, That's great. what about this one? A beetle. Really? Looks like a face to me. <laughs> That's very interesting. St stop skewing your judgment. All answers are valid. Looks like a face. Oh, huh. That was a really short one. That was really odd. You can set, you can see in these that Vanessa is becoming more and more disaffected. So she is slowly becoming more and more removed from the situation, uh, presumably as she's becoming more manipulated or becoming more under the influence of glitch trap, right? Uh, she started off very perky, very excited, very upbeat, and now she's slowly devolved into kind of like depressed, sad, very flat. Have you thought more about what we talked about? In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Feels, she's yeah. talking to him like a kid. So, if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them the way they are? Fantasies. So, is this Gregory? I'm assuming this must be Gregory then, talking to him about talking to himself. Like, is Freddy imaginary? What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Okay. Do you ever grow things? No? I work a lot. I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you, like a sport. No? Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I don't like dark basements. Okay, so that's her uh, trauma with her family. Her being kept in a dark basement. Her being removed from society. 
You'll notice though that she's responding less. So there is a possibility that it's all the same person and we're being told like two different sides of the same story. Or like by the end of the first half of the tapes, it's kind of like uh, last five years, the musical where one side of the story tells it uh, front to back and the other side tells it from back to front and they're mixed up with each other. Because she's responding less and less to the interviewer's questions. Hobby makes me think of the craft mask that she ends up putting on and making uh, to become Vanny. I'd say you make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. That's a nice chair, isn't it? According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? Oh. From what I can see here, Don't do the it. interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. Weird. My work is important. That's an that's just an odd one. It's very short. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? See how she's not talking anymore? I like the blue sky. Oh, I guess she is. Hmm, so do I. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. Is that right? See you on time. I get breaks. That's true. So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. You purchased some fake fur material. What are you going to make? What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here or there or anywhere in between. Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. I have! I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. Locked away? No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. I don't like doing that. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? Murder. It's for murder. My costume is for murder. I'm gonna slaughter a bunch of people, including you. Um... Interesting. So, this seems to very heavily imply and confirm that Vanessa is the daughter of Bill slash William Afton. And when she's saying stuff like, he's compartmentalized, and I take care of him, and whatever, that's all it, him and his head, the head, right? Like, this could be read two different ways, right? It could be read as, like, a normal person who's dealing with actual trauma in their lives, and they've pushed him aside and pushed him away, but they're still there present in his brain. Or, because it's FNAF, literally, this is Vanessa from uh, FNAF VR and FNAF AR, where she is suddenly, she's got Glitch Trap, her father, in her brain, literally, and is trying to take her, like, take her over, she's a reluctant follower, whatever, and she's trying to compartmentalize him off, but sometimes he takes over. That's why she's freaking out that he could be here, he could be there, which is why I'm assuming the therapist is going to wind up dead, right? I understand you'll be transferring oh. to a different location soon. He's holding up. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress, don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, See, again, she's not responding. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. 
I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. Okay, so this is her moving on from that part of her life. When I'm getting to know a new client, I like to start by finding out directly from them what they like to do. Okay, so this How is How do our... you spend all the time you have? Nothing. Well, how do you feel about sports? You like sports? It's, it's, yeah? Yes. No? Oh, I get it. You like to watch them, but not play them. You like being inside, don't you? This I get that. It's gotta be great. Lots of weird stuff outdoors, isn't there? Yeah, I understand. Well, I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed to ask you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. <laughs> and apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Or two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you. Huh. But I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. That doesn't bother you either? Mangled by machinery. Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently the police don't have any evidence. How does all of this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my back. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? It's not. Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? No. Nope. That's... Nope. That's a big red flag. Nope. Big red flag right there. Abort. No thank you. Huh. Mangled by machinery. It's not what I... I expected it if it was Vanny, right? If, if you thought, like, the murders were happening by Vanny. She's always depicted as having a knife. That has been removed from the new game. I'm assuming for, like, parental reasons. So, like, she's always doing, like, shh or, like, whatever. It's more of, like, a threatening, like, I'm crazy, rather than a, like, I'm holding a knife, I'm gonna stab you. Which, to be fair, is also threatening, so... Interesting. I... Is it a coincidence that they're going to the same? The way that people talk to the 4,600, 4, patient feels kid-like. It feels like they're talking to a youngster, right? I talk to patients old and young. I talk, you know, do you like sports? You know, that's, that's such a, like, ask a little boy question. You know, uh, and so for them to ask that to, like, Vanessa, who is a, you know, a fully grown woman, Unless they're older tapes, but that wouldn't make sense because they're going to the same therapist. Maybe they're following each other around from city to city? Uh, Gregory and Vanessa? Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex? Hey! We do. Very I'll familiar. I'll take your silence as a yes. And besides, I know you know it. Because the technicians who work for Pizza Plex know you. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they do. They report that they've caught you on camera, or at least it appears to be you. Nothing to say about that? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. This is Freddy. This is Although, Gregory. I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. But apparently, the hacks are causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. <laughs> this is... You get a kick out of that? This is why he's a threat level. The idea level. of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? Yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? But seriously, I have to say that I think it's weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy, social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Huh. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself. Right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your file that you have developed software programs that talk to you and repeat phrases, right? The program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. It's kind of like your own self-therapy, isn't it? Another way of talking to yourself to work things out, right? When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking at. It felt like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. But the text found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, 
At first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responding to you. Who is it? So, okay. I feel like patient 4-6 whatever is is got to be Gregory. It's also why we don't hear him talk, right? If we knew, if we heard a voice, right, we know Gregory's voice at this point, so that would make sense. Um, he's a hacker. He's a threat. So, again, like, why Freddy Fazbear freaks out at the beginning is because he's a hacker. He's a threat. He, he does programs that take over other things' software. So that's very possible. I like that. Um, he's talking to himself, and so on one hand, it's like it's almost implying that like he's created the Freddy Fazbear program to like talk to himself. Like he's created this all. This this could all be fantasy. It's weird. It feels like they're leaving a lot of things open ended here, so a lot of theories can actually apply. One, maybe all this is in Gregory's head, and he's just made this all up for his own enjoyment. But the the disappearances are real, so he hasn't. Two, is he the one who's manipulating Vanny? Because if they're like, hey, you're being manipulated, you're a hacker, whatever, or Vanny's being like, you're manipulated, whatever, could Gregory be the one manipulating her? Especially if they're related in some way or they have kind of this shared background, the idea of one manipulating the other or like having this kind of self-talk that they keep saying. In the books, in, in the original novel series, there's this big thing about, like, there were two children, they were very similar, they're separated at birth, when in actuality they were just, like, versions or copies of each other. And if this is, like, Vanny and Crying Child, or, like, Vanny and, and Gregory being similar, I don't really hear, we got two left, I think? I saw some inkblot test results in your file. Huh. I like inkblot tests. You want to do one? Yes? Okay. How about this one? Treehouse. What do you see? What? You want to hold it? Okay. You think it's a mask? It reminds you of a mask? Or like a disguise? Yeah, I can see that. You like the idea of being disguised? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible, can't you? <laughs> yeah, you like that idea, huh? Well, okay, moving on. I have another report we need to talk about. I mean, that seems Vanny. Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with some, or maybe something. Pretty strange. What do you think about that? Nothing? Well, the texts say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate you, or maybe to lure you somewhere. So, so, so this is awesome. There, that's better. On this side of the desk. I can see your eyes. The thing is, when I read the communications, I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. I won't give some. No comment? Huh? Okay. Then how about this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the pizza plex. Okay. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone. Or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. What? You find that amusing? Well, I guess it is. 
Huh. It's almost rabbit ears. It's true. Last one. Last one. Last one. I got another message from the text at the pizza plex. I'm afraid it's about you again. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. Eerie. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the techs traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. Huh. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so I might get this wrong, but sure. what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines seem to have come from you. Sure. Can you explain that? Listen, I'm on your side here. Our sessions are just between you and me. The techs can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Waiting for the big reveal. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, hmm. think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Okay. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? Let's look at it. All that stuff about your parents? Yep. You aren't even gonna look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. Huh. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... <clears throat> well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen. Huh. Huh. And that's it? And that's it? It's all of them? I guess it is. All right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Those are long, too. Wow, those are hefty long. Uh, usually, like, the FNAF tapes are like, ah, oh, it's like a, 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 you know, a minute. Like, these are chunky boys. These are real hefty, and there's a lot in there. Um, all the stuff with your parents was a lie. So, right, there's, there's two ways to take it, right? It's either Vanny and also Vanny. Two Vannies. I, I guess there's three ways. It's Vanny and a split personality of Vanny. But that doesn't seem to match, right? Because that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Because all these therapists, I don't think, would be talking to the same person in such different ways. Unless they're, like, acknowledging the existence of the other personality. The, the alter in some way. I, I don't know. It just, it, it feels strange to me that it would be like, oh, it's Vanny and Vanessa. Like, and we're talking to two different entities. Um, other possibility is... Like the set on fire ending, there's two separate people, both very similar looking, both like twins. That's a possibility. 
um, that, that both look like Vanessa and both have this, like, and one is obsessing over the other one, one is pretending to be the other person, whatever. One is like worshiping the other person. Uh, and then the last one is, it, it, Vanny accepted, there's Vanessa tapes and there's Gregory tapes. And for some reason, Gregory as this like kid hacker who likes to be alone, likes to hide out, likes to have like a bunch of like imaginary conversations with himself around the pizza plex is manipulating Vanessa in some way? I don't know. I, from listening to them, and that's a lot of, that was a lot of information to take in. Uh, the bouncing back and forth between the two different, like, tapes, uh, b between the two different kind of, like, routes was a bit confusing for me to keep track of it all. It does seem... That's that. That's weird. I I really need to think through this one. This one's this one's tough. Um. Yeah, I just need time to like read and hopefully like read the the text because I'm I'm much more of a visual learner than I am auditory. So I'm like trying to process it, but also I feel like if I'm able to like see things and see specific lines like that might help. Uh, but overall, huge uh, huge reveals there and and definitely upending everything that we maybe thought we knew or maybe it's just solidifying the Vanessa stuff I I don't know and this is also coupled with this is also coupled with a lot of these messages which again like a lot of the red messages in here are dealing with like you know Vanessa shouldn't be here is she actually a security guard is she just posing as a security guard like we don't recommend her for the job she was recommended by the higher-ups like, there's a lot of weird stuff about her history mixed into this. So, overall, I... There's a lot. There's a lot to process. And this is where I kind of toss it over to, to game theory territory. Um, and I also toss it out to you guys. So, I need time to process this. I, I think, overall, congratulations! We've reached the end of FNAF Security Breach. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for sticking with me through however long this video ended up being. I know from a recording standpoint, it ended up being like four hours or something, three, four hours. Uh, it's been long. So whatever this video was, it's been pared down by quite a bit as I just ran everywhere um, and searched in a lot of different places. Um, but yeah, I, I have a lot to chew on. And all of this is still... And I sound like a broken record, and I know I recognize that I sound like a broken record, but I'm not convinced that we're done. The fact that Balloon... Like, this seems like a huge, huge end secret, right? Like, FNAF VR had the 16 tapes, and that was like the be-all, end-all of that game, right? That was the true ending of that game, uh, was unlocking Glitch Trap and releasing him out into the world. Um, here, similarly, this is, this is a huge quest in the game. You know, to get to the end of the game to upgrade Freddy full out, and then to go back through every single room of every single location uh, for, to find, first off, this secret room that was invisible to begin with, its sister location, now all of a sudden you have these like mystery tapes, and then to go back through the entire pizza plex and find these 16 tapes that are sprinkled and invisible everywhere. Like, that's huge. That's huge. This was an incredibly difficult side quest that yields a huge amount of information that I don't have a solid understanding of what to do with yet, and I need to think. But it still leaves the dangling thread of the arcade cabinets. Princess Quest accepted, which has its own complete thing. Why is Balloon Boy got a thing? Why is Chica's Pizza Party a thing? Why is Monty's... Oh, hey, Bean! It's dinner time! And it's dinner time. So, my friends, with that, I leave you for another day, and I close out the FNAF Daddy, series with some thoughts. Dinner. It is dinner time, so I, it is dinner time for me. I gotta go. This has been FNAF. I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for the theories, and if you have anything, let me know on the Game Theory subreddit over on the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit, because there's only so much I can do in the time that I have. There's a lot of clues. There's a lot of codes that we gotta look at. So we're gonna... I, 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 we'll, let's all do this together. <laughs> all right. Are you playing with Mega Chew, bud? Mega Chew. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember... Uh, thank you for joining me on what was an incredibly long 15-part uh, series on this. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to solving this thing alongside you guys. Uh, and as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!